I just wanted to catalogue this um, experiment with firing a pot for reduction in an electric kiln using this sagger. Uh, so basically it's just a pot with um, very high fire clay, so it should, groggy clay, so it should uh, withstand repeated firings. Um, I, made a, I made it all in one piece and just sliced the lid off. I didn't make a, um, a seat for the lid because I'm going to seal it with um, either a ring of clay and push it down or I'm going to seal it with bat wash. Uh, probably bat wash. I'll paint the bat wash and when it's wet I'll push it together and uh, it should make a seal and I can tap it loose after the firing. Um, inside I have, as you can see, some charcoal in here uh, which will pr provide the uh, carbon to make the uh, glazes reduce in the firing and I have a little plinth for the for the cup to sit on. Well, you know me. So I just jiggle the jiggle the plinth down over the charcoal till it's sitting on the clay and uh, approximately central and there's um, a hole in the middle of it and around the side so that the, the carbon gases can uh, move up in the firing. Here I have a little Unomi cup um, which um, inside is Celsa Chun uh, which has got which has got iron oxide in it so in reduction it gives a very beautiful kind of um, speckled runny blue on the outside is a, a John Britt recipe for a copper red so I should get red and blue light blue uh, in reduction if this fails and it gets oxidized then um, uh, I will get kind of um, the, the outside copper might be very light green if I remember right, when it, when it fails to get reduction, it doesn't look like hardly anything, maybe whitish. And the inside will be kind of white with a slight tan colour because of the iron. Um, so you like 1% iron. So I believe that will fit okay. Yeah, that fits. It's a bit close. Next time I'll make my saggers, you know, another couple of centimetres bigger in all directions. This was an experiment and I, and I didn't get it quite right. I'm just going to take it out again and seat the... Seat the plinth a bit if I can. Sit on some charcoal. Uh, well, it's all right. It doesn't matter if it's in a slight angle. So I think, yeah, I'm going to use the bat wash. I'm going to try and seal it. If you'll excuse me one second, I'll get a brush. And um, see if we can seal this into the pot. I'm not mixing up my bat wash, I'm just um, splooching it on thick, try not to get it onto the cup. I don't know if it'll stay wet long enough, it is kind of drying. I'll re wet this quickly. That's the experiment. Will I get enough stickiness? So I want to make a seal so that the um, the oxygen doesn't go in and the carbon stays in there. And I believe that is actually sticking. Yeah, it doesn't want to come off. Uh, you don't have to worry about explosions because the amount of air in there in that size cavity uh, is not going to explode. It's kind of it's a bit of a myth that air pockets in in clay um, will explode. It's normally water that explodes. So that is now ready. Um, I'm going to carefully put this to one side and uh, put it in my kiln, probably uh, in the next day or two. And I'll I'll update this with a more video when it's fired and I see if it actually worked. So my cone six firing in my my electric kiln is done, but it has stayed sealed, so that's good. I thought it had come loose when I put it into the kiln, so maybe it resealed in the firing, or maybe it was okay. Um, I think you need to put the bat wash a little bit thickly. Anyway, I'm going to go take it into my studio and uh, tap it open, and fingers crossed. So I just touched it, and the lid did come loose, so it wasn't really well sealed. But I think it was probably kind of sealed. So um, the pot is hot. Oh, I'm going to get my glove and uh, we'll take it out and have a look. Oh! 
Well, that is reduced. I'm not sure why the top isn't reduced. I don't know why it's stuck. Maybe I didn't clean the bottom. Hmm. Okay, well, I definitely have some copper red. Well, it is, it is reduced. The base is stuck on. Um, the top is not red, but the bottom is looking really good. Top is not red. Maybe the salsa chun on the rim ran down into the copper red. And inside, I can, I can see hints of reduction there, like a little bit of green in the corner. And a little bit of pink on top. Maybe that's the copper running down inside. I'm not sure if it shows on camera, but just under the rim, there's some. But it's not quite the effect I hoped for. So yeah, that's uh, very, very reduced. Uh, interesting. I mean, it's not a failure. It's not an amazing success, but uh, it does seem like the bottom is more reduced than the top. Um, I'm not sure if I'm imagining that, and maybe there's not much carbon carbon monoxide getting into the cup this way. I don't know. Maybe one needs a, a glaze inside that is um, doesn't need so much reduction, and then outside needs reduction. That's, that's actually a really nice red. I'm kind of happy with that, even if it's not perfectly wonderful. Not bad. I will do more of this. So I'm trying to work out what happened with this firing. Um, I checked back my picture of the unglazed pot and uh, the copper glaze went right up to the top here and over inside was the chun. So I can't quite figure out why here is not red and here is a very really good red. Um, looking at the glazes I think it's slightly under fired. I had a slightly weird firing so um, that may not have helped but basically it looks to me like the carbon sat in the, right in the bottom of the sagar, like bottom half, probably because it's heavier than air, and uh, carbon monoxide and dioxide, and uh, so the reduction only hit the bottom, and it hit the bottom really heavily. You know, that looks like um, potential for carbon coring, because it's so black. It's not how it should be, so I think um, next time I will use less charcoal, and um, I think I'll make a bigger sagger so that um, if it's taller then the carbon has a chance to come higher so I kind of need the sagger to be twice the height of the cup on the plinth and then it should reach over and inside so this should be like a really nice blue um, can't see in this light let me move so there's really tiny little bit of greeny blue at the bottom and some um, a little bit of pink from the copper, but uh, maybe that's flashing. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> it is a half a success and half not. So next test, bigger sagger. I might put the copper glaze all over as well, then I'll get a real good, real good indication of the reduction inside. Um, the chun, well the chun should go a really nice blue, kind of light blue in, um, in reduction. So that's it really. It's a interesting experiment and I will I will see if I can do better next time.